Oh hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be repairing a lawnmower that refuses to start. I think something might be uh, gunked up in the carburetor, but we're gonna take it apart and see if we can get it running consistently. So the lawnmower I'm gonna be working on is a Craftsman Platinum 7.25 horsepower, 190cc with a uh, Briggs & Stratton, pretty common motor for these brands. So this one has an electric start, um, push button right here, but I tend to start it with this because the battery that I got with this mower is, uh, doesn't hold a charge very well. I'm going to take the air filter off and check the carburetor behind it and see if I can clean it out, see if there's any problems there. I'm, I'm also going to take out the spark plug and see if that has any problems and maybe clean out the spark plug hole see if the cylinders have compression first things first I'm going to take this air filter off and inspect that wow that's looking pretty gunky uh, I'm gonna replace this but for now because I need to mow the lawn today I'm gonna clean this up with some air and then uh, put it back on Okay, this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna hit some uh, air to it. I'm also gonna hit this with a little uh, carb cleaner and put it out in the sun to dry a little bit. All right, while the uh, filter is drying, I'm taking out these bolts, one, two, three, to take this plate off so I can get to the carburetor. Okay, I got the other ones out. And this one is almost out. Try to put them somewhere where you're going to find them so they don't get lost. Okay, you should be able to just pull this off. And looking at this, looks like I'm going to blow this all out with the, the compressed air. And then we'll uh, see what else is going on. Blow this out and clean it up a little bit. This is a good time to just, I'll spray carb cleaner around just clean up some stuff and then you get yourself a clean rag clean this stuff up so it doesn't look quite as gunky I also spray some carb cleaner in here and work the butterfly Make sure to pat off this gasket though. Okay, so just doing that might be enough to be able to start this. So I'm going to pull back the bale. I didn't put the, the air filter back on. I'm just gonna let, let it with a open carburetor and I'm gonna try pulling this. Okay, pull back the bale and try giving that a test pull. Okay, so I definitely think that was part of the problem. But I'm also gonna check the spark plug. Okay, I wanna check some other things, so I'm taking this top off of here. It's basically a screw here and a screw here, and then this will just ride the cord there. And this is all pretty gunked up, so I'm gonna blow this out too. Okay, the spark plug's on the front here, and I'm going to take that off next to see if that's part of the problem. Definitely is pretty uh, nasty. I don't know whether I have a replacement for this one or not, but um, I'm going to try to clean it up somewhat. While I have this spark plug out, I think I'm going to check compression on the lawnmower. I'm gonna fill it up with uh, something that I was using for our outboard motor called Deep Creep by Seafoam. And I'm gonna check compression after that. Maybe that will improve the compression of it. Here's my compression tester. I'm gonna screw this into the spark plug hole and then we'll uh, pull the cord a couple times to see what the compression is. You gotta always remember to zero it out. Screw that in right there. Just hand tighten. 
Okay, once you get this, the uh, compression tester in, you're going to pull the bale back and pull, it, pull the cord several times. Oh, you got to get this guy off. Okay, once you realize that you need to screw that uh, top in again, then you can pull the cord without it flying all over the place. Pull it back and give it several pulls. Okay, I did this twice and both times it was about 60. So I'm gonna pour some, uh, or spray some deep creep into this and let it set for about 10 minutes and see if that helps the compression at all. Okay, I'm not only gonna just spray this into the spark plug holes, but also into the carburetor. I've seen it work on an outboard motor and I think this will help this too. By the way, I have this uh, tipped back so I can get into the, spray it till the foam comes out and uh, let it set for about 10 minutes. Sometimes it's good to also pull the uh, cord a little bit to get the cylinders to go back and forth or else you can take this off again and, and turn the flywheel a little bit to make the cylinder go up and down. Okay I let that set for about 10 minutes then I took it off its impromptu um, stand and pulled the rip cord a couple times to move any of the uh, deep creep back out of the system and now I'm going to put the the uh, compression tester in again and check to see if the compression has improved from 60. Okay, I'm not gonna do this with one hand, but I'm gonna pull back the bale and then I'm gonna pull the cord about five times and see if the compression has improved at all from having that uh, penetrating oil in the cylinder. Well, it doesn't look like the compression has improved at all, maybe by like, like five PSI, but not much. So I don't know if that was a problem to begin with. Okay, with some uh, carb cleaner and a clean rag and a wire brush, I was able to clean this up quite a bit, get all the gunk out of it. Um, I'm gonna clean it up a little tiny bit more and reinsert it into the lawnmower. And then we're gonna try to fire it up, see how it goes. You reinsert it, definitely try not to um, cross thread at all. You're gonna turn this till it tightens by hand. And you're gonna turn this about a quarter of a turn. You don't wanna over tighten it. Okay, I still have the air filter off, so the carb is open to the uh, public. Um, I'm gonna pull the bale back and uh, we're gonna try to see if it fires up. Okay, so I'm going to be taking this carburetor off and trying to clean it out a little bit. Remember the linkage? You want to take a photo of this before you take it all apart so you can remember how to put it back together. But um, you have a bolt here and a bolt here. See those? And then you have your fuel line here. So these are things you got to worry about. So take a picture of this stuff, okay? Then you got springs. You got to disconnect. You got a spring here and you have a spring here that I put right here. That goes to your thermostat. So, um, I mean, that closes your choke and it also goes to your thermostat so it, it bounces back. So I have a jar here ready to catch the, the fuel coming out of the, the gas reservoir here. And uh, I don't think it'll be too much. I think it's enough, this jar is big enough. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, loosen this clamp and immediately move this 
hose into here. I'm not going to be holding this, so I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, it only made a little bit of a mess, but I got most of the fuel collecting in this jar. I'm just going to let it, or the reservoir, empty out. And uh, hopefully it'll stop in time. Or else you can always lift this hose up higher than the, uh, the reservoir top and it'll stop. Alright, it wasn't fully emptied, but I just put the hose up, held up by this uh, cap. And, uh, and now I'm going to try to clean this guy out. Now when people talk about rebuilding a carburetor, it doesn't mean that they're taking it to a machine shop and having everything completely rebuilt. They're just taking it apart, cleaning it, adding new O-rings and gaskets, cleaning out all the jets, and uh, basically just making it so it feels like it's new again. Okay, so you're going to want to put this onto your workbench, maybe get that jar of gas. You can kind of use that as some cleaning solution, but you also want some carb cleaner and some clean rags. You also want um, some screwdrivers and wrenches and sockets. Okay, now that I have that all situated, I'm just going to start off spraying some of this stuff down to get some of the parts cleaner and just wipe them off with this rag. Um, if you have to, use a, a brush or a, like a, a, a one of these kind of bottle brushes. Um, whatever you can, just try not to mar it up, mar up the surface or anything. So you're going to start by spray some carb cleaner on it. It dries really fast, so um, if you need some um, compressed air, that also helps. Damp it up some of this. Make sure to store um, towels and stuff that are soaked with gas and, and other solvents. Store it in a metal container that has a, a lid on it. And, uh, you know, whenever you can, store it outside. And this kind of stuff, make sure to uh, wear some safety glasses because you don't want to get any schmutz blown in your face. Okay, so we have the part here. And I'm going to take this bolt out of the, the uh, cup here. There should be some fuel in this. So it might be good to just lean this over here. Let whatever is left in this come out. Now this, this has some little holes in it. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it has some little holes that you're going to want to get like a pin or something and clean those out. Do I have a pin? I don't know if I have a pin. I'm going to spray into here and down this hole. And there's lots of schmutz flying all over the place for that, so... Um, then the next thing you want to do is to make sure you open up any kind of orifice that might want to spray gas. So there's a one right here. There's kind of a, a large one here. One right here, there's one down here, and you're just going to spray some of the carb cleaner into those holes. Keep your face away from it. And a lot of times it'll just, it'll spray, it'll spray uh, through other holes. Oh, well, that was just a gunk. And then clean where you can too. 
use a little bottle brush to clean it off. There's gaskets aren't the greatest, but at present I need to mow the lawn, so I'm not going to worry about it and I'm going to come back to it. There's a big old piece of gunk here. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to clean this. Clean this guy up. Clean old. You're going to clean like old gasket material and just crap that has gotten into this somehow. Use a brush. Dip it into the carb cleaner that's at the bottom. And then you're going to just scrape and brush and clean. And you're basically rebuilding your carburetor. I mean, it's not... Unless you replace all the parts and stuff, you haven't fully rebuilt it, but you're, you're, you're restoring it. You're trying to get it so it, it's, it's usable and it doesn't have all the foul gas and, and gunk in it from previous summers and previous owners. And you're going to put this back on. It goes like that. And then this guy, who's been cleaned out now, is going to screw back in here. I'm going to put that back on to tighten. Don't over tighten things too much. You want to make sure that this stuff all closes, open and closes well. Clean out some parts if it has some gunk stuck to it. Clean out by spraying out. Um, maybe uh, take a little bit of this penetrating deep creep by seafoam and spray on around things where there's a swivel or where it could benefit from having some lubrication. And some of this is gonna just get burned out, but make everything as clean as possible. And when you're done, it should look a heck of a lot better than it did before. Okay, and then you're gonna take this, let it dry, off, dry up a little bit, um, and uh, there you go. And we'll see if it, uh, if my efforts do anything better for uh, starting this stupid thing. Inside of this is opening and closing really nicely. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'll show. I'm gonna put it back in like I took it out. And uh, remember, take a photo before you take the part out so you know how to put it back. Okay, I got this spring back in place. This pulls this pulls this choke back. This spring right here attaches. I showed you the linkage. Next thing I have to do is throw the uh, fuel line on. Um, I'm gonna probably try to do that pretty quick so it doesn't spill too much, but I'll probably spill a little bit. Okay, so I just poured the rest of the gas that I had pulled out of here, and I noticed at the bottom there's a lot of sediment. So um, I think part of the the issue was that we had a uh, a little bit of a uh, blockage in the carburetor. So uh, after cleaning that out and checking some of the other things, um, like the spark plugs and the thermostat, um, I'm going to give it another pull and see how it goes this time. Moment of truth. We'll see if we can get this one started. Um, this one's a little harder to start because we're at least hold, I'm gonna try to hold this and not, and still be able to start it. Look at 
that. So it started up really well. It started up really well, one pull. Um, I, uh, I did a full, a, a full cleaning of the carburetor. Um, I pulled the spark plug and I sprayed Deep Creek into the uh, spark plug hole and pulled the uh, cord several times to get that cylinder going back and forth with that deep creep, sorry. Um, cleaning out the carbon and whatever gunk was in the cylinder. I think that's what was prob the problem, but who knows? Cleaning out the carburetor certainly isn't gonna hurt it. And uh, yeah, that was a success. I include some links to some parts that you might find useful while you're trying to repair your mower. If you like what you see in this video, please like the video and subscribe and uh, watch a couple more videos up on the side here.